guys I was gonna record this video yesterday but I figured we could wait and see if we got a little better resolution screenshot uh, than the newsletter and if we didn't get that today I was gonna go ahead and look at it anyway but uh, yes <laughs> ever since we've been seeing this little fella kind of in uh, quick little videos and some overhead uh, screenshots and all that I have been wanting to get in here and get a close-up look and uh, we are not disappointed. I'm not disappointed. Uh, but yeah, little little guys here. We've got like, uh, I'm not, we're still not sure if it actually has a driver. I don't remember. We'll have to pull up that video of, I think, one of the E3 demos and see if there's actually a driver in it. I can't remember or not. I would think with it being Steam, there would actually be a little driver in there kind of moving this thing. I do not think it is, uh, it's autonomous like the Jeep. Uh, like the Jeep ride is. But yeah, like I said, the kind of little ones here, they've got kind of picked out. I don't know how long you can actually make these, but looks like we've got three of them lined up in a row here. So um, this is another one of those things where I can't, like Gamescom is only 11 days away as of the recording of this video. So we will get a lot more in-depth coverage, I believe. Um, even Joel said, I noticed he answered somebody maybe on... Twitter, or it might have been Delady Signer's Discord, but the public is going to be able to walk up and play um, Planet Zoo, you know, whatever version they have out um, at their booth. So this isn't just going to be like Delady and Rudy and all those guys streaming. If you're actually there in Germany, um, you can walk up and play this. So that's going to be really neat. Um, I just can't wait to kind of get in here and dive into some of the live streams, see what Delady and all them are going to be able to do and like how like pulled back uh, some of this is going to be. I don't know like how many, we, we still don't know how many animals they're going to have. Um, we don't know if it's going to be like a, like a watered down beta version or the actual beta version version. But you know, here it is August 10th. Um, hopefully by the time Gamescom gets here, uh, once that, once that happens, we will have us a beta date. Now, um, I've heard a lot, a lot of chatter that keeps, uh, kind of surrounding itself with August 26th, which is a, let's see when the 26th is, meow. That's a Monday, so we don't know, but that is kind of the chatter I'm hearing that we may see a beta release date before September. But now a lot of this is just stipulation. I don't know if the, you know, if the people have actually heard something or if they've been there, but the chatter that I, the date that I keep honing in on the most, it seems like is August 26th. So definitely think that's going to be an important Monday for us. But anyways, guys, yeah. Uh, other than that, the Zoopedia fact, everybody picked the iguana. I had picked the hippo this time. I just, the Zoopedia fact, the Zoopedia fact things are kind of cool, but I'm just would rather have more animal reveals and stuff, but um, it was just something. It was just had to do with the iguana, so um, nothing, no real big earth-shattering news there. And uh, I think that's all I have on my notes for today. I just kind of wanted to jump in and show you guys if you haven't had a real good look to sit there and mess with this uh, with this little transport train. One thing that ever since we noticed this, um, that kind of got a lot of us really excited is the thought of what other type of transport rides are they going to pull off? Are we going to have chairlifts? Are we going to have gondolas? Um, you know, we obviously we know we have the little steam train here. Um, a lot, a lot of possibilities. The little lamps and stuff there towards the back are absolutely gorgeous. Everything just seems like an updated planet coaster from this pick. Like everything about this, from the shadows to just all the little ground details, everything just looks like a better more updated version and hopefully you know we're thinking essentially that's what it is this is a upgraded version of the cobra engine that put together planet coaster so for anybody that's not familiar with planet coaster it is developed by frontiers in-house engine so you know how you have unity um unreal um Red Dead Redemption 2 uses a version of what, of what Rockstar calls the Rage Engine. Well, Frontier uses their Cobra Engine. 
and uh, Planet Zoo will also use that engine. Um, it's the same as Elite Dangerous and, you know, all that stuff. So that is a uh, another really interesting part about us jumping in here and uh, and just seeing what the, you know, how the... Uh, how the optimization will be, how are, how are different rigs going to handle Planet Zoo. We're thinking if, if Planet Coaster is any indication, you may need you a little bit beefier rig um, going on. I'm thinking your little Dell Inspiron laptops are probably not going to work out too well. But, you know, I say that, but we don't know. Um, I think just, you know, probably for me, your, your little tiny laptop wouldn't work out because you know I'm going to put a million pieces in things. But if you guys aren't a big sandbox creator like me and you just want some animals with some regular exhibits and that's how you have fun with the game, you may be fine. So I definitely wouldn't go out and drop $2,000 on a computer uh, quite yet. But let's just kind of feel it out and wait till this beta gets here. And I think then we will kind of have some more... Uh, some more educated answers for you. And then, of course, too, you know, um, you can always look up the minimum specs and all that. But um, really, really interesting stuff coming down the line. And uh, so anyways, guys, yeah, I'll go ahead and jump on out of here. Let me know your thoughts down below on our new little steam train here. And uh, yeah, we will just keep rolling on towards Gamescom. 11 days to go until some of our buddies actually get hands on with Planet Zoo, so exciting, exciting times lie ahead. I'm S. Dan Wolf, thank you for stopping by and hanging out with me, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you, see ya.